What up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're we'll be going over the Nike Metcon 7s. It's the newest iteration of the Metcons. As you can tell, I've been going through the 2s, through the 6s, so I've been using Metcons for a pretty good amount of time, so I know what I'm talking about a little bit, but let's go ahead, get right into the review. First thing you can tell, the Nike Metcon 7s are a lot different than the Nike Metcon 6s. The Nike Metcon 6s are a little lighter, while the 7s are a little heavier. The 7s also do not come with that Hyperlift insert. They have Hyperlift built in, so it does have a 7 millimeter lift as opposed to a 4 millimeter lift on the Nike Metcon 6s. They changed up the laces a little bit. Now it only has the fly wire on one side with the loops on the interior side. And as you can tell, the heel is totally different. This has a little faux leather on the back side with the Nuggie Metcon symbol on the interior, whereas the Nuggie Metcon symbol's on the back on the sixes. This has a little bit of a rounded heel where it has a lot more exaggerated of a rounded heel on the sevens. Here on the sevens, at the bottom, it's a little bit inspired by their lifting shoe, the Nuggie Romaleos. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. You can actually th see through the heel of the shoe and it's supposed to do that to have a little bit of more flexibility in the bottom. I did not see that in my testing, any flexibility on the bottom, but it is very rigid on that back and with pretty much any Nike Metcon shoe, I've never really recommended them for being for running and yeah, this is pretty much not going to be that great for any runs longer than about a mile. One thing I do enjoy about the 7s over the 6s is this little bit of a staggered toe. So instead of being one solid piece of plastic, it has a little bit of a break here at the bottom where the 7s just one piece of plastic here on the bottom. So you would feel a little bit of heel slippage at the back when it flexes but I do love the sevens as far as its breathability. You can see through the chute to the actual insole and that was very breathable and it's extremely flexible where the sevens a little bit more rigid and not as breathable. Another little thing they added to the sevens is this lock lace. So this is supposed to help out to keep your shoelaces either tied or away from like double unders and stuff like that. It's more form than functionality. I mean, it works relatively good to hide the laces in, but as far as keeping them tied, they still came untied if I only single knotted them, but if I double knotted them, they work normally fine. We also have this interior right here that's gonna help with rope climbs, and yes, it does help a lot. It is gives it a great grab on the rope, but it comes with positives and negatives with that. The positive is if you are a little bit newer to rope climbing, this is gonna be a lot more helpful to help you up the rope. The negative side, which I see it more in my usage, is on the way down, when you're using a J-hook and trying to go downward, it sticks to the rope a little bit easier, so it's a little bit harder to come down the rope a little bit more controlled. Yes, you can adjust for that, but I was a bigger fan of the sixes because it let me slip down a little easier, even though it wasn't as sturdy on the rope climb on the way up. They still use this plastic on the heel here to help with handstand push-ups, so it doesn't stick to the wall. It kind of just scrapes on the wall. They've been doing that for a while and have always been a big fan of that. They do come in a multitude of colors, and that's probably what I'm a biggest fan of with the 7s. There's a lot of ways to customize this shoe. I went with the basic, but there are a ton of ways to change the different colors, and even the basic ones are pretty loud. So if you do like a louder shoe, you can customize these guys to look great. The toe box right here is not as wide as the sixes. So you do get a little bit extra on the toe on the interior. That's gonna be great for burpees. That's gonna be great for lunges, stuff that you're on your toe for. So that is a great addition that was a big fan for. But if you do have a wider foot, it's gonna be a little bit tighter. Talking about that, the heel of the shoe is a tad bit wider. You can actually see the sevens behind the sixes right here. So it does add a little bit of stability for squats, for Olympic lifting and stuff like that. So as far as squats and Olympic lifting is concerned, I would take the sevens over the sixes any day of the week. The insole itself is removable so you can take it right out so it is easy to put in your orthotics if you need to, just like the sixes. The only difference with the sixes is they had two padded areas that change where this is all the same padded area. Nike did add in their React technology with a little bit extra cushioning around the heel for stuff like plyometrics and jumping and I did see a 
a good amount of bounce here where I did not see it in the sixes. So if you're doing boot camp style workouts, a little bit of jumping, and of course you should not be on your heels for box jumps or double unders, so that really shouldn't come into account too much, but it does come throughout the entire foot. So it is a little bit more cushiony, so it's gonna be a little bit more helpful on your joints. The fit of the shoe, pretty much it's the same thing as you for any training shoe. Typically for me, that means I'm going about a half size, a little bit shorter, but if you used a certain size for the sixes, they're gonna work perfect for the sevens as far as sizing is concerned. It might feel a little tight at first, but it's gonna expand a little bit, especially up here in the toe box. Durability, so the durability of this shoe, the bottom is sturdy. I've been using this for a couple weeks and it still looks pretty much brand new. But the only thing where I do have some concern is the interior loop on the laces. Uh, I have seen some things online where the interior loop has come out. That's not great. I think that comes from a lot of the rigidity from this interior rope climbing portion. Uh, so that is something to take into account. But as far as the mesh is concerned, this mesh works great. It is very durable and it's relatively cleanable. And I'm actually a pretty big fan of this leather faux here on the back and that's turned out to be durable as well. All right, so what are my recommendations with the Met Nike Metcon 7s? They are $130, which pretty much all the Nike Metcons have come out with. This is gonna be used best with lifting, so squats, so Olympic lifting, stuff where you need a sturdy heel, this guy works great. It'll also work pretty good on plyometrics, but I wouldn't use it specifically for plyometrics, but it is doable in that regard. Also, those of you guys who are new to rope climbing, this is your perfect shoe. This is gonna help you feel a little bit more stable on that rope. I would 100% recommend that for you guys. People I would not recommend this for, I would not recommend this for any runners. This is not the best for running. If you're going on shorter sprints and you're not heel striking a lot, this is more of a midsole strike shoe. It'll work pretty good, but I do usually get a little bit of fatigue in my Achilles as far as how hard this hits, and I wouldn't recommend this for anything longer than a mile run. Between the Nike Metcon 6s and the Nike Metcon 7s, I would go with my 6s. These have been awesome for me. They are very great all-around shoe. They're light. They're breathable, and you can get them for a little bit cheaper as well, but if they are the same price, it's really up to you. I actually do like the look of the sevens, even though it's a little weird with the interior over the sixes, but I would take the sixes over the sevens. Hopefully that review was helpful for you guys. If it was, please smash that like button. And if it was really helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you'll be the first one to know when my newest tech review comes out. If you have any comments about shoe reviews you would like me to go over, make sure to comment down below and I'll get in my hands on those shoes and get a good review in. If you're using any of my links down below, they're gonna shoot you over to Amazon. And if you use that to purchase your shoe, a little bit of that is gonna help me grow my channel. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.